Okay, so we have Anita at the front with Phoenix and me here with Rogue. Rogue is doing so well. So normally like these guys hadn't been able to be walked um, in months because they were just so extreme on anything that they saw and they would go at each other. Um, so what you can see here in particular uh, with Anita is how beautifully, he's walking really well there. You know, like that's, you can, you can walk that, eh? You feel more comfortable, you could come out and walk that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's walking really well. You know, he's not pulling you anymore. None of that. Um, and this is only their set, this is their second walk. And uh, one yesterday, when we did a big one yesterday, and then another one today, obviously. And this is only the second walk in months. So this is dogs, lots and lots of energy and testosterone and everything and walking. And then we switch them on to come right here. Whoop. Yes, switch them on to the prongs. Um, Harmspring or prong threes, three point uh, and uh, they fit perfectly with them. But normally this as well, they would be the Anita was saying her and her daughter took them out, for example, and they had to go completely separate directions. They couldn't walk near each other, like anywhere near each other, because they would fight or try and fight. And we don't, like, we seem to kind of not have that at all now. Um, so just by giving us some rules and boundaries and structure, which is nice. Um, so yeah, need to work more on that. But this is nice, just being able to get the dogs walking out. Now I've also brought a long line. We have both already been remote collar trained, conditioned, um, but uh, want to be able to get them where we can get them some more freedom and on long line and and work on that and build all that up as well. So, we'll see that next. But the key thing is the angle at which we use the leash. We try not to pull the lead back. We're trying to pull sideways or up if they're really naughty. And that's what we're trying to do. And in particular with the prong, it's the best to do that. They were on harnesses before and that would just make it impossible, you know? So, but even uh, Anita was worried about going by people and dogs and any cyclists, joggers, anything. Dogs would be reactive. So this is interesting. There's a couple of people up here by their van and we're going to have her go by. She doesn't know that I'm still filming and see how, how Phoenix reacts here, okay? This will be very interesting. Now, I'm, I'm saying interesting. I know he's going to be good. But she just, just literally two days ago, she wouldn't be able to do this. This would have normally filled you with dread and fear going past these people, right? Let's see how your big scary phoenix acts. Beautiful. Doing really well. Nice. Morning, morning. Uh, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> Very good. Very good, well done. So it's giving you that control. That's wonderful. Never even barked. Never, oh, see, we barked before. Oh, yeah. All oh, right, good, yeah. look at that. The smile on your face says it all. Well done. That's just and we can have them obviously walking beside each other <laughs> and not going to each other, which is nice as well. Beautiful. Very nice.